What's going on guys? It's Ann Starry here and today in this video you'll be learning how to make a toothpick gun. So it's really 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 small. Here it is. It's in comparison with my hand here. It's very very small like my finger basically. So all you do to fire it is get this toothpick, stick it through the back, grab onto the butt of it, Make sure it catches onto the rubber band. Pull it back and fire. It goes pretty far, but not very far. For such a mini gun, it does very well. And you can shoot people, of course, by taking a tip off. So, to make this, you will need some scotch tape. Duct tape is optional, but it's good a hot glue gun, and a broken rubber band, and some pieces of paper, and scissors. scissors. So what you want to do is first, you want to cut a piece of paper, a small rectangle. The, the width of this piece of paper, this red little rectangle, will be the barrel of the gun. So how long it is, is how long the barrel will be. So I want to make it about an inch or two inches okay and you want to make it about this thick so maybe four or five inches thick well not thick uh long okay that's the barrel put it aside here and then you want to get another piece and then you want to make it pretty thin so like one inch thin because that is going to be the handle here so you want to cut it the same length but it has to be less wide there we go there is the handle so now what you want to do is you want to roll up the pieces of paper so here start off small and then Start rolling it up. See? Now, if it's a little too small, mine is a little too small, you can just let go of your fingers a little bit and make it grow a little bit. Okay. The handle is finished. So you want to get a piece of duct, um, du um, scotch tape and just seal it so that it won't. It's sealed. That's the handle. For the barrel, you want to do the same exact process. You want to roll it. But this time, when you roll it, you have to make sure that there is a hole in the middle for the bullet to travel through. See right now, that is a little too thin, so the bullet not travel through that well. So, you want to tap it down so it's straight. And then I think that will do, because we're shooting through a toothpick. So a toothpick should fit in that. And then, again, Get a piece of scotch tape, and then tape it. Okay, now you have both pieces, like that. And then after that, well, this is where the glue gun gets, comes to play. What you do is you get your broken rubber band, and then Cut it to about, yeah, cut it to about this size, so around two or two and a half inches, so, you just, okay, and then you just want to get the barrel, and then put two lines of hot glue here and here, so. There we go. Then you just want to place the rubber band on. Be careful not to burn your fingers. Oop. And you want to leave some room in the back for the toothpick to catch on. So like that. So there should be a hole here. Oop. There. 
Wait for it to cool off. Okay, now what you want to do, I'm going to get the hot glue gun again and just strengthen this whole part in general. So I'm going to put hot glue here, 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 all around. to make sure the rubber band does not come off when you're shooting the gun. Be generous. The hot glue. And then wait for this to dry. Or cool off. Make sure the rubber band is secure. Oh. So yeah, it seems like it's dry now. Now what we'll do is now we have to glue the barrel on here like that. Oh, I guess the hot glue wasn't ready, but whatever. So what we do with the barrel is we get the barrel and then if you want the barrel to be hard like this blaster right here I made if you if you're seeing you can see my finger that like they're squeezing the barrel but it's not like going inside or anything because I filled it all with hot glue. If you really want to do that, you can fill this whole paper tube with hot glue. But after that, the paper tube is really hot. So if you don't want to do it, yeah, whatever. Because it's not like you're going to go on a full-on war with this thing. So you just want to stick it in. Oop. And then reinforce it with more hot glue. a little okay there we go so now it is glued so Make it upright. Okay, so now you just have to let it dry or cool down. Now, see, here it is. And to make sure, wait, sorry. I'm just gonna wait for it to cool down. So while I'm waiting for that, let me just check if this, oop, no it is not dry actually. So I'm just going to let this dry for a little bit. And then I'll show you the next step. So. I'm gonna put it on a toothpick right here and then stick it in, just tape it on the floor so that I don't have to hold it while it dries. Okay. Stick it on the floor. See? Right there, it's dry. So now, the next step is duct tape. This step is optional. Now, see this gun? 
It's very sturdy since I added a layer of duct tape. So right now what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a little piece of duct tape right here. And then you're going to stick it, stick it right over here and then bend it over to the other side to make sure this hot glue doesn't let the rubber band slip out. And then tape it. There we go. And then you want to get some more duct tape, very, very little piece. Just put it on the barrel. And you know, you just design it and however you want. And then test fire, get a toothpick, and then um, snip off, um, bend off one of the other ends. Oop. Oh yeah, sorry. Bend off one of the other ends, pointy ends, stick it in the barrel, or actually no, that's not how you do it. You stick it through the middle, and you bought it back like this, and then you want to catch it on this rubber band. This duct tape is in the way. Like, catch it in this rubber band, and yeah, pinch it, then let it fire. Oh, it's a misfire. Catch it and let it fire. See, fires. So, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. And peace.